We've got Elizabeth Harper here from Seattle Public Library yes. to talk about some of the programs that are going on at the library because it's not just about books anymore. Right. Very clear for a lot of folks. I mean, a lot of people already know that, but... And you said you have this big gallery on the 7th, so tell us about that. Yes, so it is art exhibits, and it is We're Still Here, a art showcase for members of the Chief Seattle Club, and there's going to be an opening night reception, so we highly recommend that everyone attend that. You're going to really enjoy it. And the exhibit itself runs through December 15th, and it will be on the level eight gallery of the Central Library. And what makes that one unique? This particular mm -hmm. exhibit um, that we're partnering with the Chief Seattle Club. Yeah, yeah. that's Fantastic. cool. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you guys are all about arts. It's not just you know books, 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 which no. you obviously still have, but we anything else that's sort of going on either in other branches or at the main one? Sure, we have programs throughout the entire city. For example, we have a really fun Ladies Musical Club piano recital this Sunday at the West Seattle branch. The Ladies Musical Club is a lovely local organization. They also do lunchtime concerts at the Central Library. And then Ballard partners with Scarecrow Video to bring a film screening the last Sunday of every month. And this month's theme is noir, which will be great. Ooh. And there's a lively post-film discussion. Hmm. And on the 17th, we actually have a story time for grown-ups, which is like thrilling tale. <laughs> at the third place books in Seward Park, actually. Oh, great. Yeah. That, oh, that's, that's my your neck of the woods. Yeah, fantastic. I, I think that, that, that would be so fun to have like adult stories, you know, just listen for story time instead yeah. of going to the kids' story yeah. times, <laughs> which I usually do. This is, like a, this is an effort, I'm assuming, from the public library to reach out to people who, like me, just kind of associate it with, with books and mm -hmm. everything's online now or it's on my Kindle or, or whatever. Has this been an effective way to... Um, to get people in the doors? Definitely. Well, we our goal is to provide enriching and enjoyable programming for all ages. So we definitely uh, want to appeal to everyone. And the arts programming are always very popular. In fact, we actually have some craft programming coming up for all ages. Oh, uh, yeah. really? Like what? Do you know? I Not do. to put you on the spot. No, I do. I knew. <laughs> I can tell you all about it. So at the uh, Lake City branch, we actually have a holiday or a winter craft extravaganza on November 26th. Legos are involved, so everyone's going to be oh, very excited. Yeah. Our meteorologist Legos. has a kid who is Lego, like Superman. Yeah, well, He's he amazing should, at it. definitely should come. Cool. And then we also have two fun programs coming up at the Central Library. The first one is actually a gift making workshop on the uh, the 23rd, actually, it's a Saturday, and we're going to be making your own personalized uh, cocoa mixes, and you can give those away as gifts, or you can, you know, use them for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can also make fall wreaths. And then in December, we're going to be having a holiday um, ornament and card making workshop. Oh so. my goodness. Well, we need to bring you back so that we can do a couple <laughs> yeah, of those. Yeah, for each one of those. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. And I like that there are programs for the entire family. Mm -hmm. Really, yes. that's so nice. So if people want to get some information on this, how can they do so? You can check out our event calendar at spl.org, and of course you can just contact us Okay, as well. very Great. easy. Yeah. I'm just wondering too, not to put you on the spot again. <laughs> For the second time in our second interview. What, um, what do you think are some of the library trends that you're seeing? You know, I don't know if that's whether it's technology or you know, just the way people are using libraries. Oh gosh, you know, we, people love the library and we love our patrons. Sure. But, um, I think there are just so many trends. People really come to the library for all the programming that we're doing. They come definitely still for the print books. Mm -hmm. We use ebooks quite a bit as well. People love ebooks. And then um, I would say a lot of the trends also involve coming to the library for classes. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like the people's university. People come to a variety of different classes. Yeah. And we also have a lot of other services that you wouldn't necessarily think that we do have. Wow, like all these great events you've got coming up. Yeah. Well, it's fantastic. And great. we're so glad you joined us for two segments. Yes. <laughs> here at King Five Mornings. Thank you so much for sticking Thank with us, you. Elizabeth Harper from the Seattle Public Library. Thank you for having me.